Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to cover iPad OS 14 Developer Beta 2 as well as Watch OS 7 Developer Beta 2. Apple yesterday released Watch OS 7 Beta 2 and iPad OS 14 Beta 2 alongside iOS 14 Beta 2, which I did cover. Links will be in the description for that video. But let's take a look at some of the latest changes within iPad OS and Watch OS in this video. Now, first thing I want to talk about is Watch OS. There's some things I do like about Beta 2, and there's a few things I do not like. There's been a few improvements and fixes, and if you want to watch the entire coverage of what's new with Watch OS 7, Beta 1, I have an entire breakdown. Links will be in the description for that. But there's been one major fix here with the watch faces, which is a new feature, sharing watch faces with watchOS 7. This feature is now working. So now you can compose a message, share a watch face that you would like to share with any of your contacts. You also have the ability to change the color of the latest watch face to match the new Apple watch bands, as well as the new cases that Apple is selling on their online store. Now this goes for the latest is watch face this one here chronographic pro this one is the latest watch face as well but again if you want additional information on watch os 7 an entire breakdown will be in the description now also one thing i didn't know about watch os 7 is that you can no longer long press on notifications and or the app list or grid view which is super annoying if you receive a message you can't really force press or 3d touch on the message to have additional functions and actions submenus are no longer here which is quite interesting this could be a bug i'm hoping it is but you can no longer press on this list view here to change the view you actually have to find the settings application here and then you have to go to general or right here to the main settings and go to view and then change that to grid view before you could just long press on the screen and change this this no longer works here in beta 2 as you can see there and that's quite annoying actually this could mean that apple may be getting rid of the force press layer on the watch maybe in the future and going with a longer haptic touch we'll have to wait and see what apple will do but it's extremely annoying even notifications or control center you can't really force press on anything you no longer have the ability to do so but again a full breakdown in the description the new latest feature and improvement for watch sharing watch faces is now working properly on watch os 7 developer beta 2. so let's take a look at ipad 14 beta 2 as well now the first thing i want to talk about ipad os is that if you want a full breakdown as well beta 1 link will be in the description there i go into a deeper dive of some of the latest changes with ipad os 14 developer beta 2 apple has added additional widgets so let's go ahead and take a look here at some of the latest widgets so if we head on over here and try to add a widget to the ipad here let's go ahead and add a widget we have a new size for widgets here in the photos department so there's this very very large widget here that you can now add to the home screen or the actual widget panel here on ipad os you also have different sizes for other widgets as well and we have a brand new files widget available for ipad os as well this widget is also available there as well this is a massive widget for the files application which is new a lot of users are hoping for a new clocks widget but apple has yet to make that available and many users are complaining that you can't really send over widgets to the actual home screen just like you do with ios so ipad os has this restriction where you can only have the widgets on the side you can't really move them over to the main page so that's something that apple may be changing in the future there's a bug there where the widget just disappeared entirely uh, but yeah apple just really really needs to allow users to make these widgets available on the right side of the screen maybe you can go into the settings here if you go to the actual display choose the bigger size where the widgets are not visible then you can actually add widgets just like ios i'm sure a lot of users would prefer that instead of having this modern look which is nice for some users but give us some options here right now with ipad os i also have to say that the new one of the best features for ipad os which is scribble which is working as intended everything is flowing very quickly very nicely apple has done a fantastic job on bringing a lot of these features and polishing them up with the latest beta as well but i do hope that apple continues to build upon the software everything else is snappy and control center i do notice that the animations are slightly slower right but they do look a lot nicer they flow a lot nicer with the latest ipad os update and the picture in picture is a lot snappier there's a minor change where when you're watching a picture in picture you can tap on the edge and bring the picture into frame tap it back and it will slide right back into frame it's a little bit glitchy right now but it's a minor change there as well there you guys have it just minor changes and improvements to watch os and iPad OS 
with watchOS 7 beta 2 and iPadOS 14 developer beta 2. Now, once the public betas become available, of course, I'll let you guys know on Twitter. Make sure you follow me there. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.